such a cute little baby. Don't you cry, little... Oh, excuse me, folks. I was, uh, petting my jackfruit. What? That's right, don't wake it up. All right, folks, jackfruit, the largest tree fruit in the world. This thing can get up to 80 pounds and in weight and 36 inches wide or long and 20 inches wide. This is a fantastic piece of fruit. Of course, this one isn't that big. But if you're sitting, up, sitting under the jackfruit tree taking a nap or something, be careful when it comes time for the fruit to fall. Now, this thing was originated in the Western Ghats region of the west coast of India. They, when they saw it on the tree, they said, eat Ghats, because it's so big and so weird looking. But it's a fantastic piece of fruit, folks. And we have one here cut up, and in a minute, from some folks are going to try it. Now, it also grows these days in southern Florida, in Hawaii, in Brazil, uh, Sri Lanka, China, Malaysia, Miramar, and Australia. But this comes from Mexico right now. Its flavor is sweet, like a pineapple and a banana. And it's loaded with vitamins A, C, calcium, and iron. It's available from oh, late spring to late summer. So it's a little early for them, and they're still a little firm. But if you can get a close-up here of the inside of the jackfruit, here's one that's cut. It has all these seeds here. These are also can be roasted or toasted or boiled and they have a very nice nutty flavor to them. And then the flesh you just cut out and eat. You can juice it, you can chop it up, put it in fruit salads, or eat it raw. Now one tip I have for you, when you're gonna cut your jackfruit up, either wear rubber gloves or have some really, really good hand, hand cleaning utensils near you because it's like getting Gorilla Glue on your fingers, really. It'll take a lot to wipe the stickiness or wash the stickiness off your hands. I recommend gloves. Folks, jackfruit is a fantastic piece of fruit, absolutely delicious, and it's not here all the time, so come on down to Dan's Fresh Produce and get some good jackfruit today. Hey, it's like having a farmer's market every day. Naomi? All right. That's about as much as I can cut out without... I should give that a try and let us... Are you ready? You want to try it? Whoops. Oh, you dropped your orange. That's all right. That grocery store, we used to call that a floor display. There you go. All right, now uh, tell us what you think. Do it does like? kind of taste like a banana, but it's really firm. Um, it's sort of, um, it's got a bite to it. It's very mild. It's not mm. as acidy as a banana. Right. Um, and it also reminds me of how smaller tropical fruit that I've had, which is a cherimoya. I'm not Less sure if they're related, though. but they look kind of, you know, same color, kind of a hard shell. Um, yeah, it's really creamy and, and kind of a mix between a banana and a pineapple. Can't go wrong, sir. Pretty good. Yeah, it's got a little texture. Now, how about our cameraman, William? You want to try it, William? How am I going to do that and hold the camera at the same time? How are you going to do it and hold the camera at the same time? I'm going to take the camera from you while you try the jackfruit. See? Well, William, what do you think of the jackfruit? This is our cameraman, William Wong. Yes, folks. I kind of like it. You like it's not, it? It's not too sweet. Yeah. All right. Folks, we've got these jackfruits down here at Dan's Fresh Produce awaiting you. I'm going to cut this one up into pieces because they can get kind of pricey and they are uh, heavy. So I think smaller pieces for folks to cut and wrap out here to sell will be available. So come on down to Dan's Fresh Produce where it's like having a farmer's market every day.